you detailing Corvettes now or what? Oh man, we detail it all. Look at these houses, man. This is motivation. I'm gonna get my family in one of these one day. But anyways, it's good to uh, get tied in with business people. I get to ask them like, what is it that you do? And when you get connected with big people, you get to do big things, man. It's, it's a blessing to be out here and um, be doing these kind of cars. Now, I mean, you're getting busy. The yes, rainy sir. season is over, finally. We got a few few here and there, days of drizzle, but we clear skies from, from here on out pretty much. And, yeah. And you've actually had to reject business today. Man, yeah. You're getting a lot of phone calls. Yeah. Let's talk about it, bro. What's going on? It's a little overwhelming. Um, I had somebody taking care of my phone calls, but um, they couldn't handle it, so I had to take it back over. And so far I've gotten about 10, 10 phone calls, and I've been booking here on the spot trying to make sure I don't overbook myself and do too much. Now I see why I hired somebody and why I needed that help because you guys know me. I try to knock it all out. I'll be out here until 12 one. So that person taking care of that kept me level headed. No, you can't do it today. You already booked out. Now I get a hold of it. It's, 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 it's wild, man. But um, I'm getting a lot of phone calls, clear skies hit. Here's the positive thing about detailing when you stay doing it for year after year is those people that you took care of and they gave you a five star, now it's summertime, they're hitting you back. So I have an overflow of my old clients hitting me back and I'm staying busy just with that alone. So some word of advice, take care of those people before those new people coming in. Don't try to compromise and be like, I got this new one paying 400 and then you got that reoccurring person that books and you just like putting them on the back, but nah, take care of them because they're going to take care of you, keep your business flowing. So, and I've been guilty of that. I've seen that $600 job come in and I'm like, hey, Betty, you got to wait. You've been rocking with me for three years. You could wait. Nah, we got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. So yeah, some word of advice. Hey, Wayne. So, you're getting a lot of customers right now that you actually have to give work away? Yeah, I got a team of detailers that I call up. Like I said before, what I'm establishing is a community that works together. You know what I mean? We're not competing against each other. So I got a team that we all dish details to each other. We all help build each other because we know at the end of the day, if I'm winning, they're winning. And that's how the mindset should be with everything. You know what I mean? You're up ahead, you should be pulling the people behind you up. And if you can, skyrocket them ahead of you because you know they're going to pull you up. So that's just how it is out here. And how do you determine what jobs are you going to do, your team is going to do? Um, of course, I look at the bigger jobs and I'm like, okay, what's going to benefit me the most to maneuver? So times, can I accomplish this within the time? With my clients, there's a whole bunch of different variables you got to look at. Um, so I connect with all the detailers, see where they're at. and due to their details that they have, I gotta see what fits most for them and for me. So it's just a variable of different things you gotta look at to determine. And then you mentioned tomorrow, you're super booked. Yeah, I've been booked every day like crazy since it's been sunny. Um, once it hits that po point of summertime, uh, sky's the limit, it's, it's details all the day because um, when I started, um, I put in my time man, um, from day to the night, you know, to one, two in the morning. So you just, you reap what you sow, the seeds you plant, you, you reap the harvest, you know what I mean? You put God first, he blesses you. So later on down the line is the less I'm gonna have to work because I'm reaping what I've sown. So that's how I look at it. So the overflow is coming and then the team that's been sticking with me, they eating too, whoever's around. Um, I believe in, how do you say it? It's contagious. When you're a blessing, the other people get to reap that blessing. Vice versa, if they're blessed, then you know what I mean? So that's why it's good to be around the people that are a blessing, because if they're a curse, guess what's gonna happen with you? It's gonna rub off on you. Now you wonder why you're walking down the street, people trying to beat you up, because I seen you with that person. They're not a blessing, it's a curse. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. All right, Wayne, so summer's right around the corner. What's the game plan? Do you plan on doing everything yourself? Hiring a team? Outsourcing to other detailers? Have you thought about it? Honestly, I have a second van going. I want, my objective is to get out of the van. So, Jay just got on. I have another guy coming on. 
I'm going to train one guy, William's going to train another guy, and we're going to put them both in my older van. And then from there on, I'm going to finish uh, the summer strong, and I'm going to hire somebody else to ride with me. So as they're riding with me, I'm going to make sure they're a top detailer where they know how to do everything, they have a lot of experience. And then that person's gonna train the next person and as soon as I get the next two, I'm out of the van. And then that's, that's gonna be that. And then from there on, I have to decide if I wanna start another van or I just wanna run the shop. So I do wanna have at least three vans out. I wanna have one as backup, just in case anything happens. Um, uh, like a, a relief van, like, hey, we're out here, we can't get it done, uh, we're crunched for time. So that extra third van is gonna be to go help and assist people and I do want to get another shop. And this shop is going to be for uh, rainy seasons because this shop I have now is just detailing supplies. So I don't know if next summer, I think I'm going to wait a couple years so I could uh, master the business inside and out. So maybe in about two years or a year, I'll get another shop uh, to do details. But I'm going to build something in the back of this uh, detail shop to where I could take cars in and do the same thing as if I had a shop. So that's a little quick rundown of uh, what's to come. All right, you guys, that's a wrap. That's a little quick little rundown of what's going on. You guys stay tuned, because we got some wild videos coming to where we're gonna uh, show you guys different ways to make uh, money out here in the field uh, detailing. So you guys stay tuned. And also, comment down below. I wanna know from crazy to wild to insane, like kind of videos that you guys wanna see. Me going up to people, um, different ways to wash people's cars, different ways to make money. I want you guys to comment it down below and I'm gonna pick one and then I'm gonna make that video that you guys request. So go ahead and comment it down below, run it up. As a, once again, have a blessed one.